Go. All right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, we gotta factor this, right? Okay. What well, multiplies to be 12? But it adds to be 7. 7? Yeah. Multiplies to be 12, but it adds to be 7. Um, 4 and 3. 4 and 3. Yeah. So we got x, x. This plus comes down. This tells me they're the same. And we got 4 and 3. Done. All right, next. Can we factor this? Because anything goes into 1824. Two. Two goes into 18 nine times. Two goes into 2412. Two goes into 2412. Anything going to 12 and nine. Three. Three. Three X to squared plus three goes into 12 four times. Three goes into 12 four times. Anything going to four and three? No, that's it, okay. So this is really two times three, which is six, right? So we factored out of six, and now we're gonna do our five-step method. This actually is our five-step method. The first step was called what? GCF. Okay, the second step, parentheses, star variable. The star is this first number. So this was already our factor. We took that out, six, right? Now we're gonna go parentheses, star, variable. That's it, three X. Okay, now three times three is 12, that means later on I gotta take out a three, okay? That means three and one. Now if it were a 12, that would mean 12 and one, three and four, two and six, right? Wait, you just said three times three is 12. What? You just said three times three. Oh my bad, three times three is nine, not three. So we gotta take out a factor of three later on. My bad, thank you, thank you man. All right, next, third step, signs. Right? This sign comes down every time. Okay? This sign tells me that they're the same or different. Because it's negative, they are different. So therefore, what's different than plus? A minus. Okay? Moving on. Step four. Product and sum. The product. First number times the last, that's your product. So that would be four times three, which is 12, okay? Your sum, that would be your middle number, four. In the sum, we're doing what we're doing right here, that's minus. So something that multiplies to be 12, and subtracts to be four. What? Multiplies to be 12, but subtracts to be four. Subtracts to be four. Four? Huh? No, uh, something four. Think, what multiplies to be 12? Just two numbers that multiply to be 12. Any two. Two? Two and what? Uh, two times what is 12? Six. Six. So six and, tw and, and two. Oh. Now what's six minus two? Four. That's exactly it. Six minus two is four. So that's what we're looking for. And the big number goes first. Okay? Big number goes first. So there's a six minus two. Okay? Now, it looks like we're done, right? But we have too much in there. Okay? I put a little bit too much to make the math easier. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out the star. So what I call it is the star cleanup. So what's the factors of the star? Three and one. Okay, so that means three has got to come out of one of these and one out of the other. This six still comes down. Three goes into three once. Three goes into six twice. 
One goes into the three, three times. One goes into the two, two times. And bam, every time, baby. Five step method. First down. Drop the ball. Right? Questions? Yeah. We good? We good? We good? Oh wait, I'm not done. No. I was gonna do 26. I'm gonna roll. All right, remember, we gotta go two ways. Cause this could be 16 or it could be negative 16. They're both gonna be 16, right? Cause it's absolute value. So, one direction, I'm gonna set it up as x, 2x minus eight is less than 16. The other direction, I set it up as 2x minus 8 is greater than negative 16 because we change the sign. And when you change the sign, when you change this sign, you change this sign. Both signs change. Okay? Alright. So then we solve. Purple. Add 8, add 8. Add eight, add eight. I'm gonna do the same to both sides. I'm just gonna get different numbers. Two X is less than what? 24. Two X is greater than what? Negative eight. Then I'm gonna do what? Divide by two, divide by two, divide by two, divide by two. And I get X is less than what? 12. And I get X is greater than Negative four. Okay? Now, if I wanted to graph it, I'd have two numbers. The smaller number over here, negative four. The bigger number over here, 12. Now, the inequalities tell me that they're open circles, and this x is going that way. And this x is going that way. And when they actually cover each other up, what happens is all real numbers are possible. Okay? Now, how do we do one that has stuff on the outside? We've got to get the absolute value alone by itself. All right? So I'm going to add 8. And that's going to get 4 absolute value, 3x minus 2. And I'm going to get greater than what? Uh, 32? Sorry, dyslexia. Okay. Then what? Divide by 4. Get rid of that 4. You got to get the absolute value all by itself. Okay. Now I can split it up into two ways. One way, 3x minus 3 is greater than 8. And the other way, 3x minus 3 is less than negative 8. So flip the sign, change the sign to the number, and solve. Plus Three plus three plus three plus three, boom, boom. Three X is greater than 11. Three X is less than five. Yeah. Negative, yes. Before you keep on going, you put a three when there's this feature. Uh-oh. From the blue to the purple. My bad. So this should be not a three, this should be a two. That means this is not a three, this is a two. I thought that looked a little funny. That's a two. This is a two. We're adding two. I still have a three X, but two plus eight is 10. And negative six, there we go. That's better. All right, then what? Divide by three. Divide by 3, x is greater than 
Uh, three and a third. And then divide by three, divide by three. X is less than negative two. Graph that. Bing, 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 bing. bing. Two graphs. I got uh, negative two and three and a third. And they're both open circles. On three and a third, it's going this way. On negative two, it's going that way. There you go. Good job. Thank you for the correction. That would have sucked doing all that work and then having one thing wrong.